I'm David McClelland, one of the veterinarians here at Zoo South Australia. Majumbi is a four-year-old male lion who came to us about 18 months ago. Since he's been with us, he's had a number of seizure-like episodes and some other weird sort of neurological signs. And this is the second anaesthetic that we've done to try and work out what's going on. The first anaesthetic, we took a lot of blood samples from him to do a lot of tests to look at things like his liver function and other things like that that, that might be causing him to have brain problems, but from a non-brain cause. Um, this time around, we're really looking more at what could be going on in his central nervous system that might be causing his brain to not be functioning as it should. We've got an ultrasonographer, Pam Carroll, who uh, comes in and donates her time um, a lot for us. And um, she's doing an ultrasound on Majumbi's abdomen to see whether there's anything going on there that, um, that might indicate a problem. In a proportion of dogs that have seizure activity, due to a brain tumour, they also have tumours in other parts of the body. We're taking lots of x-rays of his abdomen, his chest, as well as in his skull to see whether anything shows up. The main aim for, for this anaesthetic is to uh, do a cerebrospinal fluid collection or a spinal tap um, so that we can collect a sample of the fluid that surrounds his brain and spinal cord to look for any indication there might be inflammation, that's meningitis, or a cancer in the brain that might be causing him to have these sorts of signs. David Davies, who's a specialist from the Adelaide Veterinary Referral and Specialist Centre, has come in to give us a hand with this procedure. It's great to get um, collaboration with specialists like this on, on these sorts of interesting and difficult cases. So far, all of the tests that we've done thus far, the spinal tap, the x-rays, the ultrasound, all of the blood tests that we've done have come back basically normal, which is a good thing for Majumbi. But on the other hand, it doesn't give us a diagnosis as to what's causing his, his neurological disease. I mean, any species, uh, it can be that you don't find anything and you're left with what we call idiopathic disease or we just don't know what's causing it.